employee, if an employer is witnessing an otherwise great employee beginning to struggle, they're starting to just not be as great as they used to be. Is it, is it on the employer to step in? Um, that's a good question. Here's what happens. You have organizations that will properly educate their managers and supervisors in how to conduct performance reviews. And of course, document, document, document deteriorating performance where it exists. That process though fails to incorporate nuance. And what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is in many cases, you have very good performers that as a result of personal circumstances, i.e. divorce or illness in the family, it triggers that deterioration in performance. If we're only documenting and perhaps using that documentation to deal with the employment scenario in the organization, that fails to take into account how the employer can intervene or at least assist to some degree in ameliorating that employee's personal circumstance. Look, at the end of the day, you know, we're all Humpty Dumpties and Humpty Dumpty had a fall and the idea is to put Humpty Dumpty back together again. So what employers need to do is reach out with a helping hand to Humpty and together and through third party services, you likely can make a difference. So that's the nuance that employers need to incorporate in that documentation performance review process. So I park the car, I'm going in to get food, get out of the car, my mask fell. So I quickly pick it up, you know, five second rule. This was like two seconds for sure. Just two seconds. I pick it up, off I go, get the food, come back. Get into the car, take off the mask, put it in my left pocket, put my hand in my right pocket. Oh my God, that's my mask in my right pocket. I obviously had put on a mask that was somebody else's on the ground. You're going to need a vaccine for that. 